What's up everyone, Matsudan here and in this video we will take a look at Snapseed vs Photoshop Express. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Starting with the file format, both support JPEG, PNG and other common image formats. But both also support RAW format. While adding the images, Photoshop Express highlights the RAW images by displaying little RAW on the image icon. While Snapseed, when you import a RAW image, you find a develop mode. In the develop mode, you can make necessary raw adjustments such as white balance, saturation, highlights, etc. After you hit that check mark, then you are presented to the normal editing screen. Photoshop Express does not offer any develop mode. When you add a raw image, it goes to the normal editing screen. Now we are in the tools section. Both support a variety of tools. For a beginner, I would suggest using Photoshop Express because all the tools are categorized and easily accessible. On Snapseed, all the tools are under tools section and there are over 20 which can easily confuse a beginner. Starting with presets, you get 11 with Snapseed, while in Photoshop you find over 100. Snapseed comes with add more presets button, but unfortunately that button most of the time is unresponsive. Both do not support external presets as Lightroom Mobile does, but Photoshop Express allows you to create custom presets from the already made presets. Holding on a photo shows the original photo in both, while there is a separate button in Photoshop Express to compare the original and edited photo. Let's take a look at all the tools. Snapseed comes with a few tools which Photoshop Express does not. It comes with Selective and Expand tool. Expand tool uses artificial intelligence to expand a picture depending on what is in the picture. Moreover, you also find double exposure, curves, noir, heat options and a few more which Photoshop Express does not offer. Photoshop Express on the other hand comes with a red eye remover tool which Snapseed does not offer. Let's take a look at some of the extra features. Snapseed offers to see the image info such as camera, location and date. It also comes with four export options including export, share, export as, save options. Photoshop Express on the other hand offers to add a watermark. It comes with pre-made Photoshop Express watermarks but you can create a custom watermark and add to images. While exporting it asks to add a watermark but you can make that permanent by going under preferences and setting the watermark permanent. Regarding export there aren't many differences. Snapseed by default saves the original resolution photo but you can change that in the settings. It also comes with the JPEG quality where you can manage the quality of the photo. I recommend choosing at least 95% for better quality. It also offers an option to export in PNG but that would take more space compared to JPEG. Photoshop Express on the other hand offers to export in the same resolution. You also get some more options to export while you can choose a custom resolution for the photo. Moreover, it also comes with JPEG quality to choose from. Again, I will recommend selecting at least 95% if you don't want to lose any details. Photoshop Express does not offer to export in PNG. Alright, that's it for this Snapseed vs Photoshop Express video. I hope it helped. Please let me know what you think of both in the comments down below and like this video if it helped. You can subscribe to my channel too for the future videos. Until then, take care.